We're talking about my favorite packages in R. Packages extend and expand the vocabulary of R, the functions that you have available, the data that you have available. Some of them are absolutely amazing. Look at the one on the screen at the moment. This is called Plotly, and you can make these three-dimensional plots. It's absolutely amazing. I'm gonna talk about tidyverse packages as well, of course, um, just so that you know, in this video, I'm gonna be showing you what the outputs of the packages do, basically, and there is code available on this page. You're gonna have access to the page that I'm looking at at the moment click on show code, and in the margins, there are annotations that will walk you to the sense of the code, exactly what I was thinking when I wrote that code. So let's jump right in, boom shakalaka. On this YouTube channel, we're creating our programming videos on everything. Just in case you don't know, right, you install packages using the install.packages function. In parenthesis, the name of the package is in inverted commas, and then you've got the package, you just do that once. If you want to use the functions and the data from that package in your code, at the beginning of your code, you've got to put library or require, and then you don't use inverted commas to make reference to that package. Okay, got it, let's do this, giddy up. Now, of course, a lot of the packages that I'm gonna to refer to in this video come with the Tidyverse collection of packages. If you install Tidyverse, you have all of them all at once, right? So you don't have to install a dply r, ggplot, forecat, string r. You just do Tidyverse, they all come together. I'm gonna to make a separate video about all the packages you get with Tidyverse. These are just my favorites. Um, we're gonna start with dply r, okay? It's a lovely package and it's great for cleaning up your data, manipulating and wrangling your data, getting your data set in the right format ready for analysis. And I'm not, as I said, I'm not gonna go through the details of all of the different functions, but I will show you a couple of them. Okay, uh, just so that you know, there's a select, so you decide which variables you want. There's the code. And what's nice about this is in the tidyverse packages, it uses sort of human friendly language. In other words, sort of natural language. So we use the word select to select your variables. For example, we use the word filter to filter your variables, filter the rows, the observations that you wanna look at. We use the word mutate to actually change a variable. We use the word arrange to arrange your data. We use the word recode to recode your variables. We use the word summarize to summarize your data. So it's all very easy, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And again, there's the annotations in the side of the code for you to use. I absolutely love dply r. Once you start using it, you'll never stop. It, it is without question the easiest way to manipulate your data and get it into the right shape and form to make it what we call neat and tidy data. Next is ggplot2. ggplot is without question the best way of doing data visualization in R or on any platform, okay? Um, here's a couple of plots that I've made, uh, scatter plots, bar plots, bar codes, of course, the basics, lollipop pl plots. Again, you can access the code here and I've got all of the annotations in the side explaining the code for you if you wanna repeat this. By the way, you can also just copy this code. So you push copy, paste it directly into your R Studio. You can run the code, change it, do whatever. All the data that I use in this video is available to you on your computer so you can practice. Um, and so I think basically everyone agrees, ggplot, if you're gonna do data viz, is the way to go. It's worth learning. It takes a little bit of getting used to because the way it does data visualization is slightly different to what people uh, usually do. There's a, a notation that you need to get used to. Once you're used to it, you'll never go back. This is, it becomes an absolutely beautiful way to make plots so that you've got a canvas and you can add layer after layer after layer on top of that canvas. You can also control absolutely everything about the plot, right? You've got absolute control in the code as to what everything looks like. Uh, so you're gonna love ggplot. Fullcat is a fantastic package if you wanna work with categorical variables or in R we call them factors, okay? So the example that I've got on the screen at the moment is uh, from a GSS cat data set. It comes with four cats. And this original data set here, this is how, if I show you the code, I've just asked it to count up the number of people in the data set that categorized in these different marital statuses. So uh, no answer, never married, separated, divorced, etc. We might not like the way this is ordered, right? This is the natural way that it's been ordered in the data set, right? We might want to influence that. So if we look at factor re-level, look here, I've manually changed the level in which the data will be shown, and here it is in that order over there. We can also do it, we can use this function here, factor in freak. You can see it in the code over there, and it's gone from the most to the least. We can use factor reverse to do it the other way around. Factor reverse, by the way, works with uh, factor in freak. So I've, I've first put them in, in frequency, and then changed the order, uh, and then we can also reorder 
a categorical variable by the value in another variable. And in this, I'm not going to go through the code in detail because this isn't a lesson about uh, four cats in particular, but you can see how you can do great data visualization with that. String R is a lovely package that helps you work with text data, right? So uh, if you look at, I've got the iris data set right here, and I've created a new variable called description, and I've used the string underscore C function, right, to take from other variables and pull them into this new variable. And I'm using, you know, so I take for any given observation, I take the value that's in the species uh, variable, I add to that a little colon, then I add to that the value that's in the sepal length, and then I add to that centimeters. And you can see here, we've got a new variable called description, and it's popped all of that together. I'm not gonna go through all of these examples, but you can see how easy it is to work with text data, manipulate it, create new variables, manipulate the variables that you've got. Absolutely lovely, that's the string R package. GT extras is absolutely lovely. It lets you make tables from your data that are just so presentable in your reports or whatever document you're creating. So instead of there just being kind of, a, you know, columns of numbers you can really get them to come to life look at this table that I've got over here um, and it's super easy to do right I'll show you the code it looks like the code's quite complicated but once you get used to it and you look at these and look at the little annotations I've got over here and you go through it it becomes very easy to use um, and you can make absolutely beautiful tables um, and the second example I've got here I've just highlighted a particular row Okay, so you can make elements of your data jump off the page if you want to illustrate something or, or you've got some sort of message. Uh, great for communication. Okay, let's keep going. Plotly is one of my absolute favorites, right? So I started the video off with Plotly just because it's so amazing and it's easy to use, by the way. Look at this. This is an interactive plot that I've got right here. So if I run these crosshairs over any of the data points, the actual data pops up. I can also switch on and off different variables, different categories and I can zoom in on part of the data and it'll make that, uh, it'll zoom in on that. Three dimensional plots that lets you look at a particular uh, data set in three dimensions. It's absolutely lovely. The surface plot, um, let's have a look at that. Look at this uh, and let's bring that up a little bit. I mean, it's absolutely lovely in terms of data visualization and easy to use, right? That's important here. You can do this at home. And, um, and again, you can have a look at the code that I've got, and I've got all the, all the annotations that talk you through the bits and pieces of the code. Okay, I'm not gonna go into Lubridate data set package right now, just because I, I had a bit of a problem with some of the data that I was using for that example. I'll make another video about Lubridate. There are other packages that are my favorites, and I think I'm gonna expand on this list and make other videos that look into that. Um, I hope you enjoyed that. If you click on the screen at the moment, uh, there is a little card that you can click on that will um, allow you to access this this particular uh, page so that you can copy the data and look at the annotations that I've created. I hope that was useful. Don't ever change. Don't do drugs. Always do your best. Boom, shakalaka, bye. <laughs>